Hey guys, it's Alicia here from Covent and Acquire. Okay, so today we're gonna do a review of a handbag line that maybe some of you have never heard of but you've been curious about. I know I was, and so let's get started. why my blogging channel is called Covent and Acquire, it's because that's exactly how I shop. I covet things, I see them online, I do a bit of research, and if I like what I see and I like what I read, then I typically acquire them. So that's the case in point with today's bag review. So this is my new Sophie bag from the Berlin-based brand Igneal. I started seeing some of their bags on influencer channels and online and I wondered what the deal was. So I did a bunch of research. I actually reached out to some of the influencers that I saw with this bag to ask their opinion and in the end I ended up acquiring one. brand is designed and headquartered in Berlin. The bags themselves are made in Turkey and they come in two tones of uh, hardware, gold and silver, as well as several textures of leather. So it's all Italian calf skin, either suede, smooth or matte, and the hardware is aluminum, so more about that later. But the quality on this bag, from what I saw online, it really seemed to be in the luxury category. And I have to say that since unboxing it, it is. It's really a nicely done bag. There are the uh, hand painted edges on the corners. The hardware color is very vibrant. It's very nice. There's a single snap on the Sophie bag at the front for the closure. And then there are two big sections inside with a little back pocket. The inside and the outside of this bag are suede. And I thought you guys might want to see, because there are different qualities of suede, I thought you might want to see sort of how it pairs up next to a traditional luxury suede bag. And so I brought along my Dionysus bag from Gucci so that you could kind of see how they pair up. So the suedes are pretty much identical. They both have the same exact style and texture. I really see no difference whatsoever. Originally, I wasn't decided on whether I'd want the matte or smooth leather or the suede, but I ended up, once I saw this great color, this one's called the Castain, so C-A-S-T-A-N. Hmm. Why don't I get back to you on that? The brown suede with the gold hardware was just sort of a neat take on a new neutral that I kind of didn't already have in my handbag closet. The dimensions of this bag are roughly 11 by 7 by just about 4, so it's actually a really nice size bag. The chain drop on this bag is roughly 51 inches and it can be doubled over for a shoulder bag or worn long for over the shoulder or crossbody. Because uh, the internet is a little difficult to tell to gauge size uh, and shape online, I thought I would give you guys a little bit of a perspective uh, reference point for what size this bag actually is. So this is a square mini Chanel, so it's quite a bit bigger. I would say it's about the size of the old medium Chanel boy bag. And then, comparing to that uh, mini Supreme Gucci, again, there you go. So quite a bit bigger, just as a reference point. To give you an idea, this bag retails for roughly $912 Canadian, so that's 630 euro in the suede. So that's a good idea. Uh, personally, I feel like this is a great luxury purchase, and in comparison to what you'd get from some of the more history type uh, luxury brands, it's a great value for the money. So why don't we take a look at what we can fit inside of it, shall we? the bag up as much as I can. I'm going to grab these items as I go. So I have my Chanel sort of oversized wallet. 
fits in no problem. Sunglasses. My iPhone 6. Should I be embarrassed that I have a 6 now? I don't think so. Makeup compact and lipstick. What really else do you need? I mean, I could bring a bunch, but let's keep it in check. And I just wondered, for curiosity's sake, if my tablet would fit in there. And I have the big iPad, and it doesn't fit. So there's a good sense of closing very comfortably. So I want to be as real with you guys as possible and uh, I want to talk cons of this bag. Now I like the price point, I love the design, the minimalist sort of branding and style. It's really classic and a great investment piece I think. I love the colors it comes with, in fact I'm dying over the sort of blush suede and they also have a leather version which you never know if this one performs as well as I hope it will. I could be getting that one too. But my only concern with this bag is this chain. Now it's aluminum as I said earlier in the video so it's very lightweight. It serves to make the entire bag lightweight which is uh, great. It's about the same, it's actually, it's a little heavier than my Dionysus. But then again, it's a much bigger bag and the sturdiness of it has some significant structure inside that is allowing it to be so stiff, which is fabulous. I do wonder how the hardware is gonna hold up being aluminum, so I'm cautiously optimistic, of course. That is something that I'll update sort of down the road, but for now, the Sophie bag from the Berlin-based brand Agnil is pretty great. A wonderful investment that I'm really happy with and I can't wait to style it. So be sure to check and see how I'm styling this bag on my social channels at Alicia underscore H and on my blog covetandacquire.com. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you like what you see and you're as handbag obsessed as I am. But I really appreciate you stopping by. I'm going to go use this bad boy. Thank you. Goodbye. i